Bleach bypass refers to a specific process whereby the colorist skips the bleaching stage, which removes the exposed grains of silver that initially formed the image. The silver grains remain on the negative, creating greater density, which increases image contrast, intensifies grain and reduces saturation. As you might get from this, today we are talking about bleach bypass effect. You could have seen this effect in the movies like 1984, Three Kings and Saving Private Ryan, which is the most popular one, I do not really know. I'm not familiar with the previous two, but I definitely am familiar with Saving Private Ryan, I guess you are too. So how do we really do this effect? So. In order to recreate any effect, we need to know characteristics of this effect. And I'm reading the characteristics off of this book because I haven't worked with the film negative ever in my life. So what are the characteristics of this look? They are quite simple. High image contrast, intensified grain and reduced saturation. Seems pretty simple. And I used to do this effect only one way, and now this book, which I'm going to write somewhere up here, how this book is called, suggests a second way how you can achieve the same effect. So we're going to do both of them in today's video. But let's start with the effect that I'm already familiar with, because it is, well, a logical step in this tutorial. Now, let's open DaVinci Resolve. This is the project that I'm going to be working on and we're going to recreate bleach bypass. First, we're going to create a node, our test. This one is probably has been created for you by DaVinci already. And immediately we're going to create another node, our test, and a layer node, alt L. Uh, the top node is going to be desaturated to zero. Saturation to zero, nothing is changing because as you might remember, DaVinci works in such a way that the bottom node is going to be overlaid on top of the top one. Yeah, not really uh, a logical thing, but this is how DaVinci works. This is the way. So in order to see the effect and to achieve the effect that we are after, we need to change the composite mode of this little thing. Composite mode, go to overlay. And immediately it shows us the effect that we are looking for and a severely increased contrast. But we need to control that because this is slow. This is kind of too much. So we're going to go to the first note and use our contrast and pivot to adjust it to our liking. Let's say we want to have something like that. What else do we need to do? We need to add a film grain, as we remember, intensify film grain. So we're going to search for film grain. We're going to use 35 millimeter 400, and it's kind of difficult to see when it is a static frame. But anyways, we're going to increase strength a lot and play the frame yeah that amount of grain seems kind of fine what else can we do well we can in uh, we can add a serial note in here and increase sharpness because this is kind of a gritty look and we have actually two ways how we can increase sharpness the first one is mid-tone detail which is a preferred way of mine but the second way is go into this blur 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 and reducing the blur which increases the saturation just a tad not a lot this is well not trying to overdo it something like that so this is the basis for the bleach bypass effect i'm not going to perfect it because this video is not about perfecting the look but only showing you how to do the basis you can add to this recipe whatever you want you can increase the saturation in the mid tones you can further desaturate highlights and shadows you can increase the contrast you can do whatever you want but this is the basis for the look now let's have a look at the recipe that this book suggests now the first step basically what this first uh, step says is that we need to reduce contrast 
in order to further increase it. Why do we do that? Why would we reduce contrast where we want to increase that? Well, the book says that this is going to achieve a higher contrast ratio and it's going to be a more drastic effect that we're after. So it suggests that we are going to lower the highlights and increase the shadows by, by 10 to 15 percent. So let's try to do that. We are going to, in the first node, increase shadows and reduce highlights just a little bit. 10 to 15 percent, I'm not really good with percentage, but let's try to do something like that. Next step, adjust gain color balance of the scene to be a, li a little bit warmer. Just a touch, it is a warm day after all. This is the step for this particular instance, because it is a warm day, it is an outside shot, that's why the author suggests that we add some warmth to the highlights. So let's try to do that in our shot, but it's not really necessary because we do not have an outside shot. But anyways, let's try to follow these steps as closely as we can. I'm going to add a little bit of warmth to the highlights just a little bit almost a noticeable amount now next step add a second correction and use only y contrast y which is refers to the luma and now we're going to do the opposite we're going to increase the contrast so let's go to da vinci create another node unchain all of these channels and use only luma channel in order to increase our contrast we're going to drop the shadows and we're also going to increase the highlights just a little bit going to do it until we achieve the contrast that looks pretty now let's park it somewhere up here and let's move to the next step now sculpt the saturation a bit more by adding a third correction use hsl qualification to isolate the midtones then create outside node and desaturate this node by about 85 percent this is the step that always produces some weird effects i'm going to show you what i mean we're going to create a next node and we're going to try to grab only the midtones, which is kind of difficult in this particular instance. As we can see, almost everything is being grabbed by this selection. So let's narrow it down and let's try to grab only the midtones. I'm going to pre filter. We're going to reduce this, reduce that. Whoops, not what we wanted. And that is quite nice. Clean black, clean white, blur radius. And here is what I mean when I say that it's going to create an unusual and an unnatural effect. We're going to create an outside node, Alt O. And the author says that we need to desaturate this node by about 80%. So let's try to do that. And we're going to end up with the result that is looking like clown, which is not what we want. 80%, something like that. Still looks unnatural. Instead of doing something like that, I would prefer to do it a little bit differently. First of all, I would reduce the overall saturation because this is too much. Now I'm going to go to Luma versus saturation and desaturate the shadows. And also I'm going to desaturate our highlights. Something like that. Now we might want to play with the contrast a little bit more. Yeah, and if we want to preserve a little bit of color in the midtones, we always can go to the HDR wheels and add 
a little bit of saturation to the shadows and reduce a little bit of saturation to the darkest parts of the image. Thus, we're adding saturation only to the mid-tones. So this is looking much more natural than the previous situation. So let's go to the book again. Switch back to the inside of the key and increase the saturation. So he suggests that we need to increase the saturation of the mid-tones and reduce the saturation of the rest, which we just did. Lastly, and this is purely a matter of taste, at 10% of sharpening, which I demonstrated in the previous uh, method. Let's use this time mid-tone detail and add 10% of sharpening. But this is by this book is a finished look, which is not finished by me. I think that we need to add film grain because this is an important step in trying to recreate a bleach bypass look. So let's add. Yeah, now, in my opinion, it is finished. But without film grain, it is looking like a little bit unnatural or like not finished. Now it is finished. So these are two ways how we can achieve the same effect. Choose one that fits you best. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.